नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू माय स्टार्टअप टीवी। आई एम योर होस्ट मेजर सुनील शेट्टी इन जस्ट अ फ्यू डेज फ्रॉम टुडे इंडियाज बिगेस्ट डिफेंस एक्सपो स्वरक्षा महोत्सव ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी हेल्ड इन विशाखापट्टनम एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस स्पेशल सीरीज वी आर ब्रिंगिंग यू कन्वर्जेशन विद स्टार्टअप एंड एम एस एम ईज दैट आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू मेकिंग इंडिया सेल्फ रिलायंट इन द डिफेंस सेक्टर टूडे माई गेस्ट इज मिस्टर अनिल मेहरोत्रा हु इज द फाउंडर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स Uh, Tronex India a company working closely with the Indian Navy so let's hear from him uh, and get insights into their journey and contributions uh, mr anil welcome to the show thank you electronic electron india Uh, and my, my apologies telectron india uh, and uh, my apologies for that so why instrumental and speci- specifically naval systems was you know something that you decided to get into Yes yes uh, I think I think uh, your frame froze Yes sir I can hear you Mr Anil I can hear you I think there is there is some technical glitch uh, with Yeah please go ahead So you are saying I, I you are on unmanned ships also I am a mm-hmm. marine engineer by profession and I have worked on un- unmanned ships where there was a lot of electronics involved electronics and automation so my natural bent was towards the instrumentation and controls when i decided to quit sea and come over ashore so we started uh, uh, working of course for navy to uh, do some indigenization jobs for them which uh, uh, there there are a number of jobs that we have done for navy uh, now finally we have settled down to uh make a, uh, after Pri- prime minister narendra modi his initiative of uh, make in india we also started doing the same thing and it, we have successfully been able to do some pressure switches and pressure uh, sensors which have been tested to military grade military standards uh, highest military standards so that is our story that's 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 quite commendable sir, sir. Uh, wow. you know and especially with your background in the uh, you know as a marine engineer that that would have come real handy especially when you're building the company and you started way back in 1995 and you have provided turnkey solutions to the indian indian navy uh, and uh, you know how has your portfolio evolved over time uh, especially in terms of you know indianization of uh, russian origin systems Russian systems. We since we had the exposure of, of uh, going to a number of countries where I have seen a number of instruments which are which were uh, being used and contemporary instruments. When I came to India, I realized that the, the instruments being used in with Indian Navy are uh, very primitive type. So it was easy for, for me to uh, tra- translate into a, a better. Uh, uh, more more reliable instrumentation and and uh, uh, that's what we did. So and we have done. Uh, yes, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, please go ahead. Sir. You're saying you're done. And we have done a number of components, number of uh, uh, projects for Indian Navy, including setting up their test setup at Vishakhapatnam, INS Veer Bahu, where they set their radar sets. They test their radar sets. and that's the only center which is doing testing because we have done that instrumentation which were translated from russian uh, uh, components into uh, in, uh, indigenous components uh, so in your effort to, to replace be- you know uh, the imported systems 
with uh, indigenous alternatives uh, there must have been you know there must have been technical and 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 logistic challenges uh, so what were the biggest one that you encountered see basically if you know what the signals are required then you can work from first principles and uh, deliver the instruments so, so all we did was to understand the difficulty was the translation of russian into english so we could not understand till somebody translated okay, what the signals are required so once we understood all that it could be it was not a very difficult thing to do so it could we worked it out from the first principles and and we created that uh, test setup at uh, veer bahu so uh, could you all could you walk us through you know a recent break breakthrough or a flagship system uh, that reflects your core strength Uh, say an advanced flow monitoring you know pressure regulator regulation or online vibration monitoring system so what what is that flagship product that you have built in the recent uh, time uh as you said which were being used by uh, defense uh, uh, by defense i mean let's say the rdos etc so we have been we have been uh, uh, dealing in all, all those instruments gradually we realize that uh, the prices are high and uh, uh, the instrument so we started working on 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 the especially after uh, our uh, honorable prime minister uh, appealed to the to us that you should indigenize uh, focus on indigenization so we did that and uh, we could get the uh, by design we got the correct components and we we manufacture we we put it together and uh, uh, tried it out it worked then we tested it to military standards of 461 and uh, 810 which proved to be successful so thereafter we introduced that to the to the uh, drdo naval science and technological lab who took it up and and in their in their own project designs and uh, we we have successfully indigenized other, so many other things we have also done pressure switches which are which are very very uh, major component for all the torpedoes that are being uh, manufactured in india so how do you ensure you know reliability and uh, precision in high stake you know environment like naval platforms where uh, failure isn't an option so how do you ensure that we we selected the the components which which were not manufactured in india that we, that was of the highest quality and we analyzed we did a bit of uh, reverse engineering i and we and uh, analyzed all the components and we we came to understand what the comp- what the composition is and thereafter it was easy for us to put it together and uh, uh, test it out yes there is no uh, uh, failure is, is is not an option no very true so you mentioned having a oh, no you know, uh, your side mentions you know uh, having a full fledged in house tool room to support uh, you know indigenization work uh, how 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 has this uh, you know capability accelerated your r and d and deliver times uh, have, uh, having an in house tool room how has that helped uh, you uh, know in accelerating r and d research and development and delivery times for you really necessary to have a very uh, first class tool room ne- your own tool room because you have to look for the excellence in everything everywhere low sense and not good adan sir bro and and the and the instrument inventions keep upgrading themselves so presently since the volumes are not that high we are outsourcing a lot of uh, services in india which from the from the experts in that facility so we are taking no chances about 
Uh, Mr. Neil, if you could check on your end. No, no we, are we are experiencing right. audio issues at your end. Okay. Uh, so, to what extent do you collaborate with other Indian defense uh, and R&D entities or shipyards uh, to co-develop uh, quality, uh, you know, uh, quality systems? We have a full-time job doing two instruments. <laughs> we, we are, it has been a full-time job doing these two instruments, and we are. Uh, uh, so we don't have time for any other. No. Hello. So, uh, so, so coming to you know your product lineup, uh, which includes from gas to you know handling systems, and vibration monitors to uh, universal measurement uh, you know buses, uh, weather systems, which of which product you know line are best suited for naval operations, and uh, which are seeing increasing crossover into you know civil and industrial uh, sectors. Uh, Mr. Shetty, we have done the oxygen boosting systems, which was which was a big challenge for Indian Navy. You go in. Can shall I go ahead? Yes, please. I, I said uh, oxygen boosting systems was a big big uh, challenge for Indian Navy because all the all the escape suits from Submarine escape suits had to carry those systems for breathing in an emergency. And since it was a matter of safety of life and all that, so that I considered that that was our very important uh, development. Thereafter, the EDA test uh, systems were very important. And now we are focusing on the uh, weapon uh, uh, systems which, which, which are good for weapon like pressure sensors and pressure transducers the pressure transducers give guide give give the the depth of the or the position of the of the uh, article it's in the sea or air or wherever by changing the pressure by relating with the pressure and and the switch With the with the with the barrel dynamics, so let us see what comes out of it. And how do you balance you know, you know customization, customization for naval specific application versus scalable mo you know modular offerings for broader defense or industrial use? Uh, very honestly, we are presently only focusing on indigenization of these two instruments. Once we are totally satisfied. Uh, this is uh, only then we will look at something else. Our focus is totally on indigenization of the two instruments. Thereafter, we will take up other things. And maybe if we are invited by some other industries to join in, we will do that. So, so uh, you know, what, what additional military grade testing or validation regime that you follow? Uh, to make uh, uh, to meet I Indian Navy standards, are there anything additional you follow, you know, in house? Yes, in -house. we test everything ourselves, and uh, in the uh, uh, type testing we have done at uh, uh, Samir of Vishakhapatnam, and uh, uh, at SKC Lab, uh, Bangalore. So we have we have used these labs for testing. To get the correct results. So, looking ahead, what areas of technology or innovation, mm -hmm. uh, like digital twins, remote diagnostics, or AI-assisted monitoring, are you focusing on for future defense products line? The AI is the thing. We will be. We will definitely be going on that uh, 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 that path. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And are you planning to uh, expand, expand beyond marine uh, instrumentation, uh, like into aerospace, uh, land-based defense infrastructure? 
instrumentations that we are doing now are military and aerospace. So there, there we are already there, and and uh, uh, DRDOs like GTRE etc are using our transducers for for making for the, for their engines. So uh, we are very much there. It is it is just that presently we are focusing only on these instruments for now. Yes, we have plans to do. Uh, take the path of AI and and do more work, which we will do eventually. So, sir, your company is also associated with, with the Swaraksha event, uh, Mahotsav twenty twenty five, which is being held in Vishakhapatnam, twenty uh, fourth to twenty third to twenty fifth uh, of this of September. Uh, could you talk about the event as to you know you are part of it? What do you think about the event? I think this event is going to be a very big success because that will give us a, a, show, a showcase of our instruments uh, to to all the DRDOs, visiting DRDOs, and uh, we we are looking ahead to that. And finally, you know, before I let you go, I want to ask you get your opinion about uh, about us. We are we are a media house dedicated to entrepreneurship. Uh, we cover stories of startups and also MSMEs. Uh, we are a dedicated platform. Uh, our platform uh, through our web TV, through our magazine and OTT, we showcase you know the work that MSMEs, the startups are doing. What do you think about the kind of work we are doing? I think we are doing a good job, a wonderful job, and please keep it up. And you should have more more of such uh, uh, events in, in 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 the country, so that we we get an opportunity to showcase our products. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being on our show, and we hope to see you at the event. My startup TV would be there. We are live broadcasting the event, the three-day event, and uh, we will personally catch up with you there at the event. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Viewers, in case you want to have an update of the Suraksha Mahotsav 2025. Uh, which is to be held in September, twenty third, twenty fifth of September. Uh, do follow us on our channel for a live show between twelve thirty a.m. to one thirty a.m. where we bring startups and and MSMEs that are going to be part of the Suraksha Mahotsav event. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.